So I know you're wondering where I've been. Well, between the airbrush going down for a couple of days and painting, it has been a long couple of days. There's Molly. So this is what's been going on. Lots of painting. Um, got some stuff for Abilities Unlimited. If you guys don't know who they are, um, it's sort of like Goodwill, but localized. It directly goes to families that need it here locally, all the funding. So, yeah. Digging it. Good morning, fish heads. Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates. Today is Monday, June 15th, 2020. We're back in the shop today. Um, not going to do a to be continued part three on the airbrush because basically I did everything that I could possibly do. Um, I changed out the nozzle head. I bought a new $30 nozzle head. I bought O rings. I bought everything that I could buy. I'm pretty familiar with how to adjust and change and clean and all that stuff I showed you the breakdown so um, yep I got a new one this is actually my old airbrush that's in this case I'm going to send this back um, for a pro cleaning and use it as a backup but I just unfortunately I did everything that I could do here locally um, and could not solve the problem so I had to bite the bullet and get another one I just went with the same one it's an HPCS um, the one cool thing about it is that five years later they come with this little filter uh, it's pretty cool it's it's an additional moisture trap filter that you can run right at where you connect the hose onto your airbrush so I really do like that feature and hey you know they give you a sticker <laughs> we know that we love stickers so super happy that I have a, a, a running unit I'm going to send this out to Gary Glass and crew and see if they can take a look at it and see what the heck was wrong with it. And in the meantime, I'm back up and running. So I was only down a total of like a day and a half, uh, two days, I think, tops. So back in action. I've got a few pieces to show you guys this morning. Um, this is that 100 little olive perch. We have that baby one and a crappie. And this is a, actually a Father's Day gift set, which is going one state north of me, which will be pretty cool. Good, good friend of the family uh, for her father. This, is a, this was a fun little one to do. This is that, um, that Schultz blank that I get that's got the pre-foil on it so it's nice and shiny I did a lot of freehand um, detailing on this particular one and just had a good time with this so my traditional crawl pattern or at least it's become my traditional crawl pattern the way I like to do crawls with my own hand cut stencils this is a fun one um, I normally don't do this but this is a gift it's not going to be sold or redistributed so I went ahead and did our little cardinal on a cardinal so this is my classic cardinal pattern on this fat belly lipless that was fun doing love doing these patterns got a straight up gizzard shad with uh, Jetson lure eyes just to add a little bit of pop to it a little bling and then a mix of uh, gray olive and a little bit of just traditional black at the nose and some silver. I think that translated pretty well. This I made a couple of. This is on that Dinger 1.5 that he has pre-foiled. And these are great. Their balance is just phenomenal, just like on, it's, this is the, from him as well. But this is his foiled version. And this is on a little pumpkin seed. And I wanted to kind of minimize uh, all the detail and the orange against the blue and really just kind of let that foil speak for itself as it goes in the water. So I am going to be selling 
a few of these this week. I made a couple of, uh, couple of extra. But this is just a really great classic summer pattern. And not quite a pinky, but the belly's pink, uh, but about the size of a pinky. But we'll just call it a, a mini mouse, mini field mouse. Those black eyes. And that, my friends, is all the news that's fit to print. We've got three spray sessions that are being edited right now, and one of them I'm going to be filming today. I've already shot two, and I just need to edit them um, on this Realizer prop, this Realizer Junior prop, which is going to be a really fun repaint. So stay tuned. I've got more coming this week. That's my cue. That's the compressor. It's time for me to get back to work. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.